Nichols uses words of wisdom to claim first senior sailing medal at Princess Sophia. Matilda Nichols used words of wisdom from teammates to power her to a first senior medal at the 2024 Princess Sophia Regatta, writes Sports Beats Millie McAvoy. The Aldabug native earned a bronze medal in the ILCA 6 class in Palma, soaring up the standings before finishing second in her first ever medal race. The 22-year-old had leaned on her Olympic-bound colleagues for advice, tapping up Princess Sophia gold medalist Mickey Bennett and fellow ILCA 6 sailor Hannah Snell Grove for tips. It feels amazing, I can't really believe it to be honest, the University of Exeter student said. It still hasn't settled in but it was a really tricky week racing-wise and I am super proud of myself to be able to put together such a good week in such tricky conditions. Hannah, Snell Grove, my teammate back at home who is going to the Olympics, messaged me first saying well done and then I replied help. What are your tips for medal racing? A post shared by British Sailing Team. She helped me out with a few tips, a few pointers and a few of the rules that were different. Then Mickey, Beckett, with his experience was super helpful. It is very cool to learn from both of them. Nichols finished behind Hungary's Maria Erdi and Zoe Thompson of Australia and used a strong start with five top ten finishes in the first five races keeping her in contention. In the gold fleet, four races in difficult conditions were followed by a third place finish in the final fleet race before second in the medal race confirmed her place on the podium. She added, we had a massive mix of conditions, the first day was super windy then we had some medium conditions and then light conditions. The last few days in gold fleet racing it was just super tight in the fleet and everyone was rounding the marks within a couple of seconds of each other. Every little thing that you did had a massive impact on your race outcome so it was super tight racing which was really tricky and made it even more important to be on it and minimize the mistakes. We had a lot of waiting on shore before the medal race because there wasn't a lot of wind and I was getting a bit nervous that we wouldn't get out there. Seeing as it was my first medal race I just kept thinking I wanted to get out there and experience it. A post shared by British Sailing Team. I just went out there with the mindset that it was like any other training race that we normally do when we only have 10 boats on the water. I just wanted to go out there and enjoy it and do as well as I could, try and not think too much about the points until the race was over. Nichols will go in search of back-to-back -back podiums as she competes alongside Snell Grove in the Hires Regatta. The psychology student will then spend the summer in Marseille helping Snell Grove prepare as best she can for the Olympics, with sailing taking place on France's south coast. I knew this was the last competition that all the top girls were going to be doing before the Olympics, she said. I really wanted to iron out as many of the mistakes from the last event as I could and go out all guns blazing in every race that I could. Getting into the medal race was the primary aim. It was even cooler to be in the medal positions throughout the week and finish there too. Follow the British sailing team on Instagram at Gimson is now looking ahead with confidence to the NACRA 17 World Championships in La Grande Motte next month. Gavin Gunning said that the inform Paul Glatzel is playing at a level that will certainly be attracting interest from other clubs. John Rahm relaxed after a successful champions dinner while Rory McIlroy sought mental calmness in Wednesday's last practice session ahead of Thursday's start of the 88th Masters. Hoping to earn his own invitation to next year's champions dinner is McIlroy, a four-time major winner who would complete a career grand slam with a Masters triumph. What I should do is I should just get a tattoo and be like, I am the best auntie, and just, like, have that, you know, Nicole joked. An emotional day at Fenway Park honored the late Red Sox pitcher and his wife, Stacy Wakefield, after both died recently. Rangers visit to play Dundee at Dens Park has been postponed yet again after the pitch failed in afternoon inspection. Diogo Hoda, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Alison Becker have been out since February. Real Madrid have suffered a disastrous blow just moments into their Champions League quarter-final tie against Manchester City. Our opinion on the biggest Chelsea news and transfer gossip ahead of the Blues clash against Everton this weekend. Gunners were not given a penalty deep into stoppage time after a challenge by Bayern Munich captain Manuel Neuer.
Latest Liverpool news as Harry Redknapp delivers his view on the Reds who are still in contention to win the Premier League title and Europa League trophy in Jurgen Klopp's final season in charge. What about Manchester City? That is the question rival managers and fans will be asking yet again after the latest points deduction imposed on a club for breaching the Premier League's financial rules. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp interrogated one reporter over a recent Jordan Henderson interview. He also accepted some blame for one player's struggles. Arsenal and Bayern Munich played out a thrilling 2-2 Champions League draw on Tuesday night. There will be no flags on the cop for Thursday's Europa League clash with Atlanta at Anfield as fans protest against ticket price rises. The latest news from Old Trafford amid ongoing speculation over Eric Ten Hag's position as Man UTD manager. Celebrity owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney may be about to see season 3 of Welcome to Wrexham get the perfect finale with the Red Dragons only two wins away from another promotion. The latest Arsenal news as two players have been named in the former Premier League manager's team of the week following the 3-0 victory over the Seagulls. Liverpool have sidestepped two potential suspensions as Premier League prepare to alter rules for remainder of the season. The sporting head coach is reportedly finalising a summer deal to move to Anfield.